So it's been a wild ride talking about these Flipnut Studio leaks for the past two days, and unfortunately, we now know the sad truth. Yep, like most leaks, especially at a time like this, it was fake. It was all just an April Fool's joke made by a few people on the Kairu team, and was intended to only stay within maybe two or three Discord servers, which eventually spread to my own Discord server, many other Discord servers, and just the entire internet as big gaming news outlets started reporting on it. I know how a lot of you feel about this being fake. I know. Some of you in my comment section are devastated by this. It would have been great news for Flipnote fans, but don't send any hate. I'm telling you now, don't send any hate towards the original leakers, as I can assure you, their intent wasn't for this thing to really blow up at all. I still wanted to make one final video, even knowing this whole thing was fake, just to close off this saga, the saga of Flipnote Switch leaks. Uh, make sure everyone knows they're fake, talk a little bit about my thoughts, and what it possibly means for the future of Flipnut Studio and some other things I want to talk about. Uh, just like the Grinch leak from before the launch of Smash Bros. Ultimate and the RT Omni Rayman DLC leak for Smash 4, uh, this Flipnut Switch leak was very believable at one point. Looking back, obviously not so much. You might start to pick out some of its flaws now knowing its unofficial artwork made to fool people into believing it's something official. You might get upset or angry at the people involved and people who convinced you it was real. I'm personally not too happy with myself, as I helped spread this leak, which in the end, just led to more disappointment in a community that has been burned and destroyed by Nintendo themselves. Uh, yes, Flipnote might have just been some throwaway animation app you've never used before, but there are still a lot of people like myself that spent years of their childhood making animations, watching other people's animations, and interacting with their favorite animators. Flipnote is unlike any other animation tool or application out there and had that Nintendo charm, it was easily accessible and infinitely enjoyable. When I heard about the leak at first, I was skeptical, but still, just completely speechless. I really wanted this to happen, to the point where I felt like I convinced myself it was real because I wanted it to be real. Again, it was created by a small group of people in the Flipnote community known as Team Kairu. Now, Kairu has done numerous good things for us Flipnote fans, such as making their own unofficial online service for Flipnote Studio 3D, and even more recently, as of today, helped bring back a feature called DSi Library for Flipnote Studio 3D that was discontinued and allows us to find our old Flipnotes again, if we still know our Flipnote IDs, that is. I still don't know my Flipnote ID, as I don't know where my DSi is, and I don't think it was archived anywhere as of now. Uh, it's not public or anything, uh, but I'm sure it's still somewhere. I didn't create anything special in the app myself. I just remember uh, just making a bunch of spin-offs. I don't remember making anything substantial <laughs> on the app. I just want to know what my 10 year old self decided to draw up back then. I would really love to see them again. So hopefully that that pops up. I could find my Flipnet ID. But regardless, the feature has been making many people in the Flipnote community very happy as they are now able to reunite with their lost animations. The Kairu team are good people. They didn't make this leak in hopes of disappointing an entire fan base, but it still kind of happened nonetheless. But hey, if anything, these leaks were well made. Very well made. They were convincing, had that Nintendo charm, and the speculation and discussion within some of these Discord servers were really fun to be a part of. I am still salty about one thing though. Some people believe there are certain rules for an April Fool's joke. Such as, the joke can still count as an April Fool's, even if it's a few days to a week beforehand, and I personally don't believe that's the case. If your goal isn't to upset people, I would say just post it on April Fool's, or the tail end of March 31st, because it did drag on for a little while. But at least, it didn't drag on for like an entire month or anything. If you saw my previous leak video, you saw that there was like an E3 Direct thing, and I speculated that, hey, if this is going to be an E3 Direct, it's probably going to launch in June, it's going to shadow drop during the Direct, and we were all going to wait until June to see if it was real. I'm kind of glad they, you know, did it today. They revealed it today, that was their plan all along after all, so I'm glad they, uh, they did that. But that's all I really have to complain about. The timing was a bit off. As I stated, the speculation was really fun though, so it's whatever. But do I think a Flipnote switch will still happen? Maybe. I used to think 100% no. 
But one good thing to come out of this is that Nintendo knows about this now. Flipnote was trending in Japan last night. Game Explained and many other popular YouTubers and news outlets reported on it. And even a Nintendo engineer was fooled? So at least they know people want Flipnote on Switch. This leak showed a lot of potential as well, and made me realize the Switch version could indeed work, even without a stylus or a microphone built into the system like the DSi and the 3DS. Trust me, there are workarounds. I don't think it's likely though. They might know about it, yeah, but I don't think that just means they're going to start working on it all of a sudden if they weren't before. Nintendo doesn't seem to be a company that likes to greenlight projects just because people ask them to, uh, because there was a huge outcry for something. There are still many dead, <laughs> dead uh, Nintendo franchises that people would love to come back that haven't resurfaced for 20 years, 10 years. Nintendo makes whatever they want to make. Um, and let's hope Flipnote is one of those things. I'm really hoping now that the Switch is successful, we know that, uh, that Nintendo starts playing it a little less safe with the Switch, because uh, a lot of old franchises are not represented as well on the Switch as other platforms. Uh, so I'm hoping this year is the year where we hear some more older games coming back. At the start of all this, uh, I said I didn't like to cover leaks, and even if it turned out to be fake in the end, I actually had fun covering it. I don't get to talk about Flipnote a whole lot, there's not much to talk about, it's a dead service, it's just an animation app, I don't really know what else I could do. I made a big retrospective video already, and that did very well. I talked about its possibility on Switch, you guys seem to enjoy that. And now even made three videos in a row about some fake leaks, and although they didn't age very well like some of my other videos, it was a hype time, right? <laughs> it was, it was fun. Uh, while well, it lasted, at least. But I think I'm over it. I think I'm over this whole thing now. Uh, I have other games to play. It's not like I'm not looking forward to anything this year. Hoping Nintendo again announces more games this year, but I have more games to play in the meantime. Not to mention, I haven't been this active on YouTube for a while. I've run out of motivation, basically. Um, I have ideas. I don't think they'd be great. Um, but now that this leak thing came out, it made me start thinking about other videos I could do in the future, and I kind of want to make them as soon as possible before I start thinking those ideas are bad, because sometimes those ideas end up being good and I lose them to time because I don't write them down. If I were to cover more leaks and rumors in the future, they would have to have some believability to it. I don't want to cover anything outrageously unreal or anything. I'm not looking to pump out videos on fake leaks to just, just to make money off of these. I only cover this because I'm a big Fli Flipnote fan. I really wanted Flipnote to return. I'm sorry if you are mad at me for making these videos. I enjoyed making them at least. And again, I have a few more ideas for upcoming videos because of it. Uh, probably gonna be more active. I shouldn't say that actually. I jinx myself all the time. I say I'm gonna make a bunch of videos after this and then I end up dying for five months. Thanks for watching though. Don't get fooled today. There's not a whole lot of time left for April Fools at the time of making this video, uh, but it could still happen. Just like the previous videos, I have to get back to playing Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch. Bunny Day is here, I have to go find some eggs. Goodbye.